this is gonna be another lesson of the universe. It's like I'm I'm rolling myself a joint, but I won't be allowed to smoke it. Thank you, friends, for joining me. Like I, I've been having a a hard time being with myself, you know, which is something that I usually pride myself in being good with. I don't know if it's the year, year end, if it's the situation, if it's the. I think like bodily, I've been messing with myself as well. I've been eating way too much sugar and I don't know if it's treating me well. Uh, I'm doubting myself when it comes to my skills, the things I know that I can do, the, the person I'm supposed to be. I'm going to add skill as the, ins the outside intention. Believe in your skills, Melt. Yeah, believe in your skills. Oh, you got this. You're going to be fine. Just seems that... It seems like I'm, I'm tripping out about things right now. Tripping out about who I'm, who I'm supposed to be. And I feel like maybe it's, it's because I'm around family right now. I'm kind of aware of the fact that it's been a whole year since the last time I've, like, none of the whole year, two years. It's been two years since I've seen these family members. It's been, it's been two years since I saw her. She became a person in the meanwhile. You know, she used to be just a little baby, basically. And now she has thoughts. She has feelings. She has interpretations of the world. And even though we can kind of like convince ourselves that we're falling behind sometimes, there are actual four-year-olds. <laughs> She's not tripping out about falling behind. She's not tripping out about self-doubt. You know, and I asked her, you ever, you ever self-doubt? No, doesn't have any self-doubt. Why would she? Why would she have self-doubt? And I was like, unironically asking for her to teach me how to not have self-doubt. I'll believe. I, I believed in you since I found you on Reddit and I won't stop believing in you. You're going to make me cry, Shine. <laughs> You're going to make me cry. I don't know why I'm, why I'm so worried right now. I really don't. I think it's this pro the prospect of growing up, you know, what, what growing up is supposed to look like. And I don't want myself to become jaded or negative or angry or Upset of the state of the world. Upset of myself. Right? This deep understanding of you don't see the world as it is. You see the world as you are. And even though I, I haven't, you know, lost any of my love for the world, it seems that I'm, like, I'm, I'm fat right now in my own mind. Like, I gained, like, five kilograms, like, ten pounds in the last two months and I've been beating my ass like straight up not being nice to myself because of this extra weight that I've gained you know and it makes me not want to eat food it makes me doubt that I'm I'm respecting myself and I know that I've been eating as a coping mechanism to escape the the potential to feel things as well it's this genuine process of I'm aware of what I'm doing, and yet I'm still doing it. I'm still making the same mistake. Mm -hmm. Calamitous, it's so cool having you here again, friend. You've been missed, dude. Feel that, man. You're not alone. We all ebb and flow. And that's, I just, I guess that's the way it's going to be. Hey, uh, thank you, Fiend, for joining us, friend. It's nice having you here. I'm not giving up on you, Mel. I know you wouldn't give up on me or any of us here. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I like that. I won't give up on you either, dear friend. Tons of skills to even bow staff skill. <laughs> well, you get all the tools at your disposal. Thank you, friends. Like, I'm, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not... 
tripping out too much. <clears throat> As I know full well that I'm tripping out way too much. I don't know. I don't know anything. I really don't know anything. And I guess I'm I'm just coming to accept that. Oh, I get thought of Donkey Buddha. No, no. Rather, is offering me. Oh, I get so bad. I've been looking at all the last year, dude. So, like it is so, no. I get really good luck. So, two months later, and now it's like, oh, oh, he's fat. No, 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 no. Rare. So, I get like bigger as I'm looking at all the last year. No, my brother, my brother is telling me I look better now than I do if I'm completely thin. Thank you, Buddha. This is not my good for Makes me feel better. Are you friends with Elon Musk? Me and Elon Musk are best friends, dude. Yeah, bestest of friends. He like reaches out to me. I'm his spiritual advisor. Manifest. <laughs> Serge Meltmore, thank you. Thank you so much, Shan. I appreciate that love, dear friend. Where is your staff? In my my room. I actually uh, held on to it yesterday, kind of like thinking to myself about my staff again. Hope the family didn't throw it and mock it. Yeah, they they did kind of get rid of my my bong. The little bowl I had for my bong is completely gone right now, which is a little bit of a thing. Like so much of my stuff, brother Ryan, is just not where it was supposed, where it used to be. And I had this this feeling inside of me that I really wish people would stop touching my stuff, and at the same time feel this separateness, sep consciousness kind of mentality of like it's not your stuff, oh. <laughs> it's, it's the world stuff. Maxine, joining me. Thank you for joining us, dear friend. Oh goodness, what a pleasure having you here with us. The intentions I wrote on our joint today is believe and skill. Believe in your own skill, friend. It's okay to find moments of self-doubt. The thing we're saying was basically this call to awareness that this infinite experience you're having right now, it can go in infinite amounts of directions. And there's always going to be the momentum of your life, the momentum of you participating, perpetuating this experience. All you have to realize is that you can at any moment choose to redirect that momentum into a new direction. Can. And I'm, and I'm like schooling myself right now, being like, hey, oh, you know you can, you can choose <laughs> to take all of this momentum in a new direction. And yet, no, we forget. There always has to be noise, huh? I always. <sighs> Let's start smoking. Maybe it will make things easy. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I can see the noise floor is massive. But there's only that much that I can do. I can complain, I can lament, and I will do nothing, nothing. So I can accept instead and be like, oh yes, at least now I have acceptance. <laughs> A tractor is a beautiful noise. Yeah, gang gang, thank you. It's not loud as you're thinking it is, not a problem at all. Okay, good. Like for me, it's like I, there's, you're, you are on the other side of the stream for me right now. And like if I have to, to get myself into like a mindful state, extreme noise is definitely not something that helps. It kind of like messes with my brain. It actually just adds ambiance. How about the bugs screaming their lungs out? How does that sound? I'm really asking myself, how do I feel right now? I feel like there's so much contributing to the, the current mind state. Part of what's contributing to how I'm feeling right now is the last Christmas I had with this family. That is making a difference in my state of mind. The current judgment I have of myself is 
influencing my state of mind. My current food choices is influencing my state of mind. My current place, you know, where it is I am, reflecting back on where it is I was last year, is influencing how I'm feeling right now. What I'm supposed to be doing going into next year is influencing my mind right now. <sighs> Weirdly enough, my inability to dance right now, like I can dance, I know how to dance, but it's like, like I'm not enjoying it as much as I used to and I feel like it might be a microbiome thing as well. Is there anything else? Sadness about my, my sibling, especially Vessel, not approving of me. <laughs> Believe, oh. Believe. Believe. You know what I'm, I'm witnessing <coughs> within this context of self-doubt? I'm watching how I have learned tools to deal with certain things. And all of those tools are, I don't know if they're null and void, but it's like even though I know how to use these tools, I haven't used them in a while. Deep surrender. Letting go and acceptance. Those were the last real ones that I kind of hit on before coming home again as well. Those were the last things we were talking about as skills that need to be developed. And I believe in my skill. I believe in my skill to let go of things. I believe in my skill to accept things. I believe in my skill to surrender to how things are sometimes. Bugs are perfect, like I am with you. Alexandre, it's nice having you here too. Calamitous saying, what kind of expectations do they have of you? <coughs> Depends on who you're asking about. I feel fortunately, on a grand scheme of things, the biggest thing my family want to expect of me is for me to kind of conform to their belief system. You know, like we had the conversation last night again about non-separation, you know, that I feel one of the skills I've been trying to teach myself is how to completely and fully understand that we are in fact one. String theory, quantum understanding, you know, dictates on a, on a literal level, we are all one. That there is no point at which something starts and the rest of it ends. And yet, somehow, the universe is expanding. Infinitely. Accelerating accelerating. It's going faster and faster. And it's almost like our, our humanity is, is doing the same thing. We're getting closer and closer to the singularity. We're getting closer to this extreme interconnectivity. A resonance with something much larger than we used to believe we are. With the, the complete understanding of our wellness. You know, like there were some conversations last night that hurt my heart. One of the things that my, my uncles were, were talking about is the class system and how certain people are less intelligent than other people because of their genetic disposition. And then because of their lack of intelligence, their earning potential is lower. And that's why they 
that's why they're where they're supposed to be. And I was like, well, you know, we understand, we have data even, that your income bracket also determines in a very correlative, correlative way that the more you earn, the higher your potential SAT scores are, right? And you can, we can talk about if that is an inequality of DNA and inequality of your, your starting, you know, nurture versus nature was the conversation we had as well last night. Or is it an opportunity thing, you know? Is it like a, who you have access to, the tutors you have access to, the type of people you grew up with, the type of worldview that you're allowed because of your social economic status? Now, I believe, I honestly do, that the internet age is going to help us level the playing field in a way that we've never been able to before, right? All of us now have access to a lot of the information. Most of the stuff that people learn, spend their whole you know, university term for, you know, four years, the, the basics, the skills, right, touching on the joint intention as well, are learnable online these days. You can actually learn the skills online. So it's this, hopefully, mobilization of humanity. We'll actually be able to learn things. We'll be able to learn what we need to learn, right? And I feel with the, the current language models, Web3 might end up being you interacting with an AI and that AI interacting with the web at large, right? Instead of you having to interact with the web directly, trying to find the information you're looking for, you describe the information you're looking for and then an AI with access to all of the internet can give you exactly what it is you're looking for. We're, we're heading into some wild, wild times, friends, and I believe that it's going to be hopeful. I believe that we're going to start getting past this class system thing. We're going to make more pie, if we will. Right? Uh, suffering, everything, even our difficulty to surrender. Mm. I love you too. Brother Joe, we were talking about you yesterday? Day yesterday? Or day before yesterday? We're sending you love. It's nice having you here. I'm doing a Python class online right now. Yow! Yow! Wow! Get it, dude. Python is a good one. Especially if you're going to be using, you know, API calls for machine learning. You're going to get it. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, brother bear. But there's a lot of resistance there for the feeling of gloom in the world nowadays. I'm feeling a little bit gloomy, dude. I'm feeling a bit gloomy. And I feel, weirdly enough, my lack of exercise is definitely contributing to that. Like, it's so hard to believe we have impact on the world as is, right? So, start by impacting yourself. And this is a conversation I had with my aunt yesterday about how we, we are kind of like in a turn of numbers right now. Hey, Jewelry. We believe arbitrarily that we are somehow connected to the value in numbers. The value in your weight, the value in your bank account, the numbers, the value of your age the value in the number of cars or houses you have, numbers, 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 you know, and trying to correlate your infinite worth to something that is always, forever, going to be tangibly a fraction of infinity. And then you can be like, yeah, Holmes, sure, melt your infinity, but if you don't have X amount of dollars in the bank account and you can't do certain things in the world, and I agree, but it doesn't mean I'm less than because I can't do certain things. And again, instead of being attached to the tyranny of numbers, of the weight, the amount of pounds you lose, you can measure yourself of how strong you get, noticing how you're capable of more day in, day out. Not only mentally, but especially with this like physical prowess, willpower, right? It's a body thing to want to get up and do something sometimes. Sure, your mind has to kind of project, and that was yesterday's topic, your mind has to project forward 
the thing that can be done. And then the body needs to follow. So if the body can do hard things, then the inertia to do hard things becomes lower and lower. And hard things can be anything. I feel like just living is hard sometimes. So congratulations for doing it so well, for being able to. I feel like, the, like this, this human experience is definitely not for the faint of heart. <laughs> like you as a soul are powerful for being able to do what it is you're doing right now. For me and Christian have had conversations about how this is either a vacation or a divine and extremely difficult mission. And it's difficult to tell sometimes. Uh, but I hope everyone is making a difference in their own life today. As loving as we are, we often forget to gift ourselves of the joy we give others. Remember to be beautiful to yourself. There we go. Brother Joe, you spend some time thinking, I feel. You come back so strong, so divine. Thank you, friend, for sharing love. I see 420 Blaze joining us too. Cheers to you. Love my water. Mmm. Mmm. That's some nice water. Very hydrations. That's Andre. Joe, thank you for the love. Maula. Nice having you here too. In life, music, and story, simplicity stands among the greatest of qualities. Simplicity. Yeah, I agree. Maybe. Maybe that's something I can take away from the way I've been feeling as of late. Maybe I should just be more simple. Maybe it's okay to be stupid. Right? That's where my self doubt is coming from right now. I'm like, oh goodness, am I stupid? I'm stupid. No, oh, no. And, and, I, and weirdly enough, we had this conversation. We've had this conversation a few days ago even. But I'm, I'm, I'm starting to really really consolidate that being simple might be the actual way to to go right we can we can go full verbose use all of the hard words but i don't feel that's what we need to make a difference pippi has made a massive difference in my life and she at a single word, right? <laughs> I, I hope what I'm trying to put down is being picked up. I love you friends so much. I'm tripping out. You friends make me happy. Thank you for being in the space with me. Alexandre, I'm on a beach in the US and it's pretty crazy when you think about it. <laughs> I'm trying to imagine each and every single one of us at the same time different perspectives of the same world you know and how how many of us there are basically dictates how much perspective there is of the world and then we can grow that perspective infinitely thanks joe water is self-love absolutely drink some water drink some water more so getting out of one's own head mm. maybe We'll embrace that. Like, I really don't understand what my dad is doing right now. He just has the tractor started, you know, like 20 meters away from us. Maybe a little bit more. You know, and the whole day, the whole day, time was spent doing everything and anything else. It's so beautiful how these synchronicities come up, you know, and it's, I, I can, I'm noticing, I'm noticing how even with today's stream topic, like there is so many things we're saying that goes into the reality that you're experiencing right now is your self-created experience, right? Because I'm creating this experience right now. I could, I could be completely oblivious and tune out the tractor noises completely. And then it wouldn't mean anything to me, but no, my monkey mind, my willingness to try and focus on something is like, yeah, asking why, instead of just accepting. I'm like, bro, why? 
No, stop it. <laughs> stop why? Just accept. <sighs> Pippi is accepting. You know, again, Pippi is teaching me right now. Like her mind doesn't even notice. I can see her staring into the I don't think it's the abyss. Staring into the infinity. Now her eyes are closed. I mean, her own little infinity. The point I'm trying to make is how we've been through this fractal multiple times. Exactly like this. Exactly like this. And I'm laughing because I'm, I'm noticing how these lessons we've learned, these understandings we've come to, even though they're there, I still have to accept. I still have to accept in the same way. And it's, it's almost like a joke where even though we're getting better at this life thing, it's still going to be an everyday you showing up, doing the hard stuff, always, always. And that can be a little discouraging sometimes. I feel like maybe that's where my mind is stripping out right now. It's the fact that we're only going to be doing more things, have more responsibilities, have more expectance, have more expectations of ourselves and of others. Okay, Papa? Papa? He tractor? My dad is standing and having conversations with the tractor started. It's just standing there. Your dad. Uh, you know what he's doing. <laughs> Freezing cold, so I'm still in my blanket. Oh, dude, that sounds nice, dry. Stay warm, dear friend. It's nice having you here. Melty, I can feel your stress. My brother, transitions are a good way to remember how to maintain balance. Hang in there, brother. Do not be discouraged. I'm not discouraged at all. I'm laughing. The cosmic is giggling right now. Dad is eating cake. I believe in my skill to accept, to let go. There we go. I, I don't feel I'm that stressed as I'm irritated. Like there is definitely a low hum, almost like threshold, threshold irrit irritant in my mind right now. And it's making it easier for other irritants to create a sense of <laughs> pressure, maybe. Right? Like this, this, this potential irritant of seeing my dad stand there having conversations and eating cake, leaving the tractor started just because. He's going to leave now, but he's not going to start it when he's going to leave. He's going to leave it started <laughs> by itself. I think my mind is like, why? Why would you do that? Like you're, you're burning gas right now. You're putting pollutants into the air. You're costing yourself money. You're making noise. And it's so simple to me. And <laughs> the, ir the irritation pushes me up into this point where I want to say something. And again, every single time I say something, I'm the evil one. So I just don't say anything. And then I don't say anything. And then nothing gets done about the things I don't say things about. Yeah. Surrender. <laughs> Letting go and acceptance. I believe in my ability to. <sighs> We're getting so strong right now. Getting so strong, so jacked. Oh yeah, universe challenges. Show me what's up. Your dad's mansplaining of a tractor. It's actually hilarious the way he flexes all over you. I just giggle. It's exactly that, Brother Ryan. It's exactly that. 
and I'm I'm laughing as well because I, and then if I if I if I try to have a conversation, I'm like, don't you find this behavior very peculiar, Dad? Why are you? And he, I don't know if he pretends to be unaware or if he is actually unaware. <laughs> He's like, what do you mean? What do you mean? I start the tractor from some underlying psychological need to show you that whatever it is you're doing, the streams you're trying to do, it, loud noises in the environment doesn't matter to me. Oh, whatever it is, like your shiznit, it's not on my priority list. <laughs> I'll get that. I know. I know. You, like he's he, and I've shared this yesterday. He unironically believes I'm trying to ruin your lives. You know, ruin. I'm trying to understand life, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm so confused all the time. And I'm like, ugh, moment by moment, day by day, showing up. Ah, the human experience. How about tapping you? How about this human experience? How about this technology that we're walking into? How about <laughs> this trying to live a good life and I'm, I'm ruining lives? And I, and I ask him, Dad, like, tune into my streams. Oh, tune into my streams. Watch what we talk about. He, be, he honestly believes that like the, the narrative I'm trying to portray to you is this one of completely abandoning all morals, all responsibility. He, one of the biggest ones he, he calls me out on is how you're encouraging people to abandon all responsibility and they can just believe in themselves. And I'm like, yeah, that, <laughs> that is what I'm doing, but I, 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 not, not the abandoning responsibility, the believing in yourself part. And, the fact that if you believe in yourself, you're the one that has to take full responsibility. <sighs> Nobody else can take responsibility for you. Nobody else can take responsibility for you. And I feel, yeah, too closed, doesn't help. Joke's on him, it's hardly audible, so don't read the comment out loud about the house. Chill us. Fortunately, my volume floor, the mic is actually pretty good. It's pretty contained, you know. I, I understand the projection of the voice, and I'm trying to not project my voice. I'm trying to keep it in the inside voice. We're, we're having a secret meeting here right now. Mm, uh, we sometimes repeat these fractals because we may have missed the lesson, so we must repeat the course. Just a thought about useful repetition. I agree, Joe. I feel the lesson I'm supposed to learn is to care less. All right. That is honestly what I feel I'm having a hard time with. All right. And that sounds a little bit cynical, but I really do believe that I care too much about things. <laughs> I don't know if that's like, oh, oh, it's about, oh I care so. No, it's just. I, I think about things at the point of exhaustion, you know, where it's like a, I'll keep asking the same question of myself over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and over, and over again, to the point where I have flushed out all of the, the thoughts that make me feel somehow less than, you know, it ruins my life experience. And I feel in a lot of ways, you know, sometimes the relationships and the experiences we have with family members can make us feel less than to the point of no reconciliation. You know, you, it's, it comes a conclusion. And then you start looking in the other experiences for things that will reconfirm the conclusions you've made. You, you start getting good. At telling yourself this story. Right, then I, I really, I really just want to tell myself the story of acceptance, I guess. That I'm doing something right. I, like, that's maybe a big one. I feel like we all want to be right. And in our household, I'm the wrong one. Right, unequivocally, unmistakably the wrong one. And I, I'm accepting that as well. It's, it's weird because I feel accepting it is some sort of admittance. Defeat. And I think that's the thing that I'm trying to deal with as well. But at the same time, I can convince myself that it's somehow the only way to win. 
might be the only one to win. <laughs> Complete acceptance, contentedness, contentedness with whatever the situation, right? That That is the real winning. And I'm noticing how it's making more and more sense. Mm. This this is healing my heart right now. You friends, your, your attention, your presence, your thinking and feeling in the space with me. Whew, my heart is getting lighter. It's like we're willing to admit things to ourselves in this space that we're not usually willing to. Maybe I'm projecting. I was having a hard time today. And I wasn't even telling myself a negative story other than I don't feel like I always do. And and maybe maybe I should just go back to that stream topic that we touched on that as well, that when you feel like you're not yourself, realize that you are changing into something else. This, this, this constant process of change that we go through as individuals, I can feel myself heading into a change where I'm going to take even more responsibility for the way I spend my time. And I don't know if it's intimidating or frightening or worrying. <laughs> like it's, it's this experience of actually worrying that I'm going to burn myself out. Right. And I, I, w I would like to believe that I'm, I can burn out <laughs> and still have more to burn, right? Melt more, of course. You know what? <laughs> cannot be unburned you know we're gonna i'm gonna die eventually all of us will so as long as i keep living i'm not burnt out i just have to keep showing up drink water sleep <laughs> eat food move body then we can keep doing this yeah gang gang it's easy enough i don't have to put myself out about it uh goodness it's like the video making fun of dudes who gather around new barbecues and start measuring how big it is sound triggers are a big thing when you're on the scale my sensitivity wasn't nearly as bad as when i take my meds oh yeah you know like this is <laughs> this is not not well understood by my family but i do believe right and you can go into diagnose diagnose diagnosing it as well if you want to but i believe i'm high functioning autistic my behavior is not normal i do some sh weird shit i i become fascinated with a pattern and then i do it to a point of obsession everything and that's why i feel i i need to get obsessed about the right things and it's <sighs> I'm, I'm obsessed with sound. <laughs> That's why these microphones make me so happy. That's why I, I like music as much as I do. It's been an escape for me my whole life. And my family, I don't think they understand how hard it can be sometimes. One tree down in my yard in this farm so far actually got knocked out of your home, Shan. Blessings, love to you. I hope it's the only tree that died. I have more more strength all of the other trees. Do you have access to walking trial trails? I relate so much and wandering around helps me immensely. The problem with South Africa is you don't want to be caught alone in the sun. All right, maybe I should get myself like a big brim hat and like get myself some sort of like mesh long sleeve mesh or something like that it's like so cool but long sleeve this is dangerous so i do exercise you know like doing yoga putting yourself in some uncomfortable positions for an extended period of time it's almost like you don't have the aptitude to think about anything else it's like there's there are more things at stake i need to be here right now so nice to have your friends here. Love you deeply. I appreciate your presence. Thank you for being in this moment always with me. 
even when you're not here, you're still in the now, right? So please be in the now always, loving me. Mm, Shan, the outside world is so hostile for you right now. Glad you are sheltered. Right? That's the first thing that came to my mind. Thank you, Ryan. I'm grateful that I'm safe and ready. My dad just brought over a kerosene heater and showed me how to use it in case the fire does go out. So grateful. <sighs> Love is true. <laughs> I saw a six little flower. Remember the Tao. I'm trying to actively, dear friend, really. Perfect mindset for this issue. Cheers. I love you, Melty. I love you, Joe. I love you so much. Don't worry. The complexity returns to simplicity. It's the way it works. The infinity symbols. So many of them, dude. Like this little hug. Infinity symbol. One of my favorites, and this is a weird one, if you can defocus your eyes and just kind of like stare out, maybe either defocus or stare out in front of you, there arises a infinity symbol in this kind of kind of like gap as your arms overlap. It's a weird one for me. <laughs> I noticed that during meditation one day in a place of gratitude and I was like, ah. Oh. It still, still melts my mind. <sighs> Duality and unity. We're breathing the atmosphere right now, living in the earth. I'm watching a bird fly around, catching bugs out of the air, pushing down on actual molecules. The air is viscous to it, slicing through it, gliding on it, and it's everywhere. <laughs> You're breathing it right now. That's, when you breathe, <clears throat> you don't suck air in. You create a vacuum by dropping your organs, and then <sighs> air flows into you like a river, <sighs> filling your lungs up. And then when you breathe out, you actually <sighs> push that liquid out of yourself. <laughs> Just breathe, yo. Just fuck it out. Maybe that's, that's the biggest thing that I should remind myself of. Is Just breathe. Oh, we forget to just breathe. Cable. Hey, you're back home. Dude, look at how green it is. Life. There's like so much living. This is such a gorgeous shot to me right now. I'm so happy. <laughs> Be good and take care of yourself, Mel. Your body and mind will feel better. Actively. Actively feeling better. Um, I feel like this is the first time I properly spend time outside as well. <clears throat> and I think that's making a difference. Hey, you're back home. Hello, Mel. Cables, nice having you. Thank you, my love, for the love. Joy B, morning, friends and fam. I overslept. Here now. Here now, Joy B. I see you. Thank you for joining me, Fred. Mm, time makes for whimsy. Read a weird dragon fantasy. That's my recreation for escaping from family situations. That sounds kind of cool, actually. That's, that's pretty cool. I believe it's our first time meet. Hello, Mal. Thank you. Kevo, sending love as well. I'm really struggling these past couple of days. Me too, dude. Kevo, if, and I know I don't ask this a lot, dude, but maybe go check out the rest of the day stream. It started with me straight up tripping out, though, like having a hard time. And little by little, I feel we kind of showed ourselves what it was we were having a hard time with. Realize that in acceptance, there's the ultimate winning that we can fight the things that are the way that they are but accepting things having contentness within how things are right now is the way that we win at this experience regardless of how hard it is especially with how hard it is another one of the lessons that came through is if we're going to be changing right now if we're, if we're having a hard time not feeling like ourselves realize that that is the transition period to becoming something else 
right? And we're always becoming something else. And it can be intimidating sometimes. Your ego can have a hard time embracing the fact that there is change. But I feel, if anything, we're powerful enough to. We're going to have to bring on a lot of change. Things are going to be different. <laughs> oh, goodness. AI is here, friends. Like the stories, you know, the movies, the <laughs> TV shows that I've been, oh yeah, AI this, AI that, AI so and so. To the level that we saw it in sci fi movies, it's basically here. I feel, I feel it's basically here, right? If, you're, if you don't agree with me, Hit me up. I'm not talking about AGI. I'm not talking about sentient computers. It's not quite there yet. But when it comes to like the tool and the impact it could have on society, Chat GPT is that. It's there. Right. Dolly too. <laughs> not quite as much, but very much so as well. We're going to be exploring so much more of reality through a very tailored lens, right? We're going to have to start trusting ourselves to know what's right. Because the rules are going to fall apart a little bit. <laughs> things like, like things are going to change radically. And we need to be willing to embrace and change with it. And hopefully, we do so in a way that is right. Right Again, in my mind, if we can ensure that throughout all of it, love is true, right? because a lot of it is going to be computers. So in the truth statement of all of the code, all of the information put into this machine, it should give the truth statement of love. Like, yeah, you know what, all of this? Loving. I feel in with wind. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm not there. We're talking about simplicity a little bit earlier, right? I don't know how we're going to do it, but goodness, do I hope we try. Instead of asking how can I love myself, I ask how can I accept myself more? I'm bad. I have these things unacceptable, going with loving and hating. Instead, acknowledging and allowing myself. <sighs> I see tri geometry, Maxine. Thank you so much <laughs> for sharing that love, allowing myself just to be, all right? However, I'm feeling like I am right now. Not expecting, not expecting myself to be something else. I do know you so, but I want to echo. This is Joy Vives' scarf. Yesterday, my aunt offered to buy Christian's scarf from me. And she's like, how much? And I'm like, you cannot buy it from me. And she's like, everyone has a price. I'm like, no. <laughs> and then I explained to her that I believe each and every single one of you live in spirit in these scarves. And that your essence, your energy is like a shield from demons. Demons, spirits, you know, external attackers. So not just me, but also Joy V is in the stream. Zwam, zwam. Protecting ourselves from all potential energy. Holding me. Thank you. Thank you so much, dear friend, for this gift. I have lost friends, desire to be with people and mental stability. I have also lost friends, a desire to be with people and a little bit of my mental stability cable. I'm tripping out about how much synchronicity we're experiencing at the same time, dude. Have you also been, like, like self-doubt, oh? <laughs> the self-doubt. The self-doubt in who you're supposed to be for other people. The self-doubt in, am I, am I all that, right? The, the desire to be with people, dude. I feel, instead of thinking of it as something that's bad, just acknowledge it for the willingness to spend time with yourself. Right, I feel even though we do spend a lot of time isolating, kind of perpetuating a, maybe a, a content loop, 
really just spending time with yourself alone, right? No distractions. Maybe that's the the thing we desire. Maybe that is why we have this desire to not be with people right now. I don't think it's a bad thing at all, Cable. We're growing, we're adjusting, we're embracing change ceaselessly. Tell us how you're feeling, friend. Tell us how what was making you feel this way. Maybe we can we can explore a little bit in depth in that as well. You can't lie to yourself while you're engaging in doing something. Hmm. So, at first, negative loop in my mind. And then I kind of projected a little bit and started looking for things to be grateful for. And as I'm talking about this, it's a butterfly flying. And I like, looked at the tree and I was like, ah, oh, that's beautiful. I'm so grateful for the existence of this tree in my field of vision right now. And then it instantly, completely changed the loop of, you know, as you said, the lying while you're engaging in doing something. I can't lie to myself that I'm grateful for this tree while I'm being grateful for the tree. I'm smiling because it's a choice, but I'm struggling. <sighs> Dude, you're melting me right now, Kevo. I'm feeling into that triple six change, right? I think triple six is the, the number of change. Damn, Kevo, what can we do to support and uplift you? I'm thinking the same thing. I have no idea. Thank you for asking. I appreciate both your love. And Shannon's. We love you, Cable. We care about you, dear friend. Especially since I feel we were going through the same fractal right now, dude. Like it's it's a trip. It's really a trip. In yoga, even I shared that that is what I'm feeling right now. Like I'm not myself. Like I'm having a hard time. I got a cat on my lap. Oh, that sounds nice. Well then, Cable, I'm going to visualize you having lots of meaningful and purpose and beauty. <laughs> Mm. So at first, try geometry with more try geometry, flower. And then I was like, that seems like my permanent fractal. And then I focused more on cable. And then I saw a sun being circled by four other smaller suns. You feel something for that cable? I hope it means something, dear friend. We are also approaching another Mercury retrograde. Get ready. Wow, strap up. We're gonna uh, get retrograded. People can say, yeah, Mercury is in retrograde. Shower time, later melt, later friends. I only have 1% battery left on the U now. I'm live on Meltmore on YouTube as well. I might die soon. I'm so sorry, dear friends. I'm not going to be at the mercy of Mercury Dan. Same, dude. No, no, no mercy. I mean, I, I feel like people could be like, don't you have like constant load shedding right now, Mel? You know, four to six hours out of your day, no electricity. Yes, that is in fact happening. <laughs> that is happening right now, but... I'm not going to, I'm going to actually capitalize in a way where I feel like I'm going to make it my filming window, right? When the power is off, it means I'm supposed to be filming. So they think that they're taking my energy. I'm going to make it my motivation. They'll make us more powerful by taking our power away. I've said that before too, Ryan. We're going to do it this time. This time is different, Maxine. This time, love is true. <laughs> Thank you, Connor, for joining us too, friend. Every time I start feeling that things are going to be different, this planet has to take off. This, this time. This time is different, <laughs> actually. Oh, I love you, Tuners. Your dedication to the scars is gifted to you. It brings so much joy to my heart. I like how she tried to barter everything as a prize. It was like, nah. You don't have <laughs> infinity to give me. Melt was wearing your t-shirt yesterday, Vinzi. I was. I was wearing your t-shirt yesterday. Connor, been good. Just waiting for Christmas. How are you, friend? Not sure if any family member members tried to, to buy it. <laughs> I 
on set and showing. <laughs> Thank you so much for treating you to it. I'm happy and treating us into it as well. I'm happy to hear that tune. I'm doing all right, ready for the storm. Present. Experience it, the wildness, the safety of your home and the instinct of the outside. It's such a wild concept to know we celebrate Christmas with such a sunny weather while this part of the guy is winter mode. Yeah, as green as a Christmas I've ever had, I feel. Really, really, really green. True, it's gonna be cold and white. At least it won't be cold and green. <laughs> Chan, see your warmth add to the set. Pretty tense about it too. I'm very close to the Canadian border and it's supposed to get really bad. The roads are covered in slick ice that look like glass. Like I, these, these words you're saying, it sounds like you're describing some sort of foreign sci-fi world. You know, like I've never even gotten remotely close to seeing anything like that. Right, Maxine? I was thinking about that yesterday. It would feel so strange having a hot Christmas. It sounds kind of nice. I mean, you know, like so having a cold Christmas and being able to make snowmen for some reason, it's probably the novelty of it. And I, the fact that I haven't had it yet, you know, look, sounds just as nice to me. I mean, we can, we can swap places always. I have cousins that brag about going to the beach on Christmas. And I'm like, so we're going to have hot chocolate and watch Kevin give it to some invaders. <laughs> <Be generous. laughs> oh, it's supposed to be really bad by us, but I'm really, but I'm really Mr. Snow. Embrace all of it, friend. Right, that the ultimate winning in all of this is just contentedness. Being like, ah, oh, I'm content. Sure, insanity outside, but content. Ah, oh. oh, yes. Can Yo. That bug, finally tired of screaming. My brain is like having a hard time right now. Yeah. Thank you, dear bug, for ceasing your screaming, for quieting down, for shutting up. And helping me out. <laughs> like I feel like I'm I feel like I was I was having a headache this whole time, like a massive migraine. And then suddenly it just womp cleared out. Burps flying over me as well. Mm. <sighs> Man, the amount of layers that have been melted off in the stream. Mm, thank you, Maxine. Sending the same to you. Thank you for the love. I'm making it snowman today. Nice. No one is just like staying inside. No snowman is being made. Melt needs to trip in the snow for the first time. Make a snowman and snow angels. Yes. We get hard on SMLS. And then I see snow for the first time. <laughs> new world. <laughs> new world. <laughs> Completely new world. Yeah, I like the snowman slash snow angel the first few times, but now I refuse to be in the snow as much as possible. It's, I feel, a novelty thing, definitely, right? I, I think South Africa has a lot going for it. Like, I feel air conditioning is a must, but, you know, like, it's kind of nice right now. It's kind of nice right now. <laughs> it's not too bad. In the middle of the day, no. <laughs> Nobody is staying outside. I like this. Thanks, Bug. You're a straight cheat. That Bug is a straight gangster, dude. Gang, 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 Bugs. Thank you for having a little bit of modesty. I'm just, the thing I'm tripping out about right now, and again, the whole overthinking thing is how, how did it scream for that long so consistently and with, without fail? And that, that should take, doesn't that take a lot of energy? The amount of sound it makes, goodness. And I appreciate the love. Gary is sending me love. Love you, Gary. Believe.
even skill, huh? It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird being a person, you know. Or love. Nice. We're going to have another podcast with Brother Gary. End of year podcast to have some conversations about what we've been through. Contentedness. I wonder. I'm, I'm seeing our pets, you know, and the birds flying around, and the bugs screaming, and the trees growing. And I feel all of them are teaching that exact same lesson. This deep contentedness, acceptance of what is. Beauty is eating grass. Ginger is really vibing laying down. Pippi is on a mattress as well. Should I be able to show her kind of easily? Beauty eating grass. Hey, can I call? Yeah, I need to get a a signed slip from my uncle now. <laughs> I should have got it. You see, this actor. Oh, damn! Just looked outside. Look like I'm gonna be home for a while. Stay warm. Stay well, your friend. Be safe. Minus twenty three here. Feels like minus. 45 Fahrenheit. I went to open my sliding door to take a pick of the roads for the dead court. The slider is frozen shut. I cannot even fathom. I like the information you're saying in my face right now doesn't make sense to me. I'm like, like what do you mean it's minus 21? I feel like that's not okay. <laughs> uh, you know, and this is this is like tripping me out with the level of maybe some people want global warming. You know, for that exact reason, they're like, yeah, this whole minus twenty one thing. How about now? How about we actually make it warmer? How about that? <laughs> Suddenly, the conspiracy theories. Yeah, they start padding out. I'm gonna pull a Jack Nicholson and go crazy in the snowstorm like the shiny habit that two of Jack Nicholson as the, as the Joker too. Unfortunately, many will probably freeze to death in this storm. You see, I wasn't even thinking about that being a possibility. Seriously, didn't even register that people could actually die. How are people okay with that? How is there no recourse? Helping of others. A sharing of resources. <sighs> love is true. Yo, love is true, dude.
That is an unimaginable amount of suffering. Even just trying, I couldn't get close to it. Peace, love, unity, and respect, huh? We're definitely not <laughs> passing with flying colors just yet. Gary Lee. I was just telling our friends that we're going to have a podcast again soon, dear friend. Brother Gare Bear is here too. So much love to you, dear friend. Green and cold, Connor. Melty. There's multiple weather reports saying to not go outside as much as possible. You can get frost by within like as little as five minutes. I think in the cities there are shelters for the homeless that's set up for times like this. <sighs> Thank you for letting me know, Shan. It does make you think of how easily preventable it really is. Exactly. That's the, that's the only thing I can think about. Oh goodness, dude. Freezing to death. That's just not a vibe. <laughs> and the amount of dissonance. Me complaining about being too hot. Udius, <laughs> I look over to him and he's looking at me with like some concern, <laughs> concern in his eyes. It's like for a second, it's like you're like, are you, are you, are you were right? <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine, Udi. Oh, you say the other day that he missed you, Gary Bear. We do, brother. What is it, like two days ago? Two days ago, uh, day 720, we were sending you love. You too, brother. Gary Lee. 
Uh, I've been super busy with my new work, working 50 to 60 hours a week. That's so much, dude. <sighs> Sending you strength for the Gare Bear. Thank you for doing the hard things. Beard Gate, yeah, brother Dad is here too. So much love to you. Love out, big hugs. Thank you, friend. I see what looks like some sort of cosmic sports court. I don't know what sport was going to be played on it, but it had like the two moon and almost like sickle, is that how you say it? Sickle shape, crescent moon shape, uh, kind of like back to back going to uh, towards each other, making like almost like a type of psychedelic community symbol. Um, you friend again for the love. Why don't we take a collective breath of the world? <sighs> it's like a few. So much suffering, and yet love is true. So much inequality, and yet love is true. <laughs> So much worry, self-doubt, and yet love is true. I feel like the weather is how Gaia is taking back her body with force, the divine form and enforcing balance. Love equals truth. Oh my God, loves us a lot, but we need to learn how to love her too. Yeah. Yeah. We can't continue with the progress at the expense of her. Renewables, utilizing the sun and the wind, the water. There is hope. You know, I had this conversation with my dad on the way here that human beings really like staying alive <laughs> so we're probably not gonna die we're not gonna give up we're not going to stop we're gonna figure it out friends we're gonna figure it out there is hope still and you know why because you're it you're here you have unironically the capacity for change and that's the capacity for change that you have. You have the capacity to change. This world, your experience, the conversations you choose to have, the way you choose to interpret yourself, the self-doubt. I came in late. May I ask why Melty is emotional? Feeling, dude. Just feeling some stuff. As we all do, I'm not in a bad place. I'm not... I don't have a reason to feel bad. I don't have a... I'm just watching the change, dude. Watching the change. And I... And I feel maybe part of me worries. Worries that I'll lose myself. Right. Whatever that means. And weirdly enough, this whole experience, this whole acceptance, understanding, embracing of what's happening in the world, you know, and that's a small fraction of it still. It brings this awareness of perspective. This willingness to be grateful instead of angry. I don't even know if I was angry, really. I don't think angry is the right word. Uh, in the place of self-doubt, right? Is that anger? Worried? Uh, concerned for myself. That I'm losing myself. Uh, oh, this person that I think I am. Oh, no. What if I'm not that person oh there's <laughs> like a knife trying to cut itself the ocean trying to drown itself fire trying to burn itself 
light trying to illuminate itself. You just are. You don't have to worry about losing that. That it can melt away. Whatever you think your ego was supposed to be and you'll still find yourself right here. Not in the stream, but in this moment that you're always in. It's inescapable. And yet the point isn't to escape it, the point is to accept it, to be content within it. And it's hard sometimes, you know, my aunt shared something beautiful about removing the noise. Removing the noise from your environment, from your mind, from the things that make you feel like you're going insane. Find something to be grateful for, especially yourself. It's hard sometimes to be grateful for ourselves, to actually praise ourselves like that. It's easy to be negative. And it's not easy to be negative from a perspective of like you're less for feeling that way, but from a, a real biological need to survive. <laughs> you know, that if you were completely sure of the, the positive reality, you wouldn't be as vigilant and perceptible to potential predators in your environment. Fortunately, we've gotten to a point where we're not just living to survive, right? I feel we've finally reached a point where we can actually choose love. It's, it's maybe going to take some time for it to be completely easy. But we're getting there. I believe in you, friends. Let's, let's pull a card and see if the universe has something to say through sacred geometry. Mm, the human condition, the darkness is where the most light can shine. The love and truth will always come to light. There will never be no love at all. As long as there is awareness at all, there's love, right? Because I believe awareness only arises for love. That if the experience won't be loving, or at least overarching, giving the potential for love in the first place, then experience won't arise. <laughs> I am it's impossible. It's like a love has to be true for something to exist at all. The space has made me willing to reevaluate and question worries and noise from my mind. Life has been better than I have a goal of self love and development. I'm trying harder to choose love. Me too, actively, Connor. Me too, friend. I love you so much, friend. I know that you've been working hard. I'll pull an oracle card. Please do. And tell us the color of it, or the Gare Bear, when you do. Red. I don't know if there are many red cards in this deck, Maxine, but let's see. Red. I think that's the first time you've ever guessed that color as well. Maybe one, one of your friends should tell me to stop. Damn late, you're here now, Corey. Thank you for joining me, friend. Sending love to you, beloved Eden. Fill fruit cup too. Someone gonna tell me to stop? I'm gonna stop and look at the Shannon Corey. You're right on time, hon. Always right on time. There's nowhere else to be. Is here now. Maybe a doll raid. I think so. I don't know what the name is. Let's see. Ooh, I mean, there's some real redness at the center of this card. And the rest of it is peace offering. Got sent home early from work because of this crazy storm. Are you happy about that? Sounds like silver lining to me. I'm happy you get to be with your family, dear friend. Thank you for all for being a beautiful journey with us. Sending a big old bear hug, greeting this. Thank you, Connor. Sending you the two, friend. Sending you all peace offerings. I feel like peace offering is such a 
Such a real card right now. I love this card. It's so beautiful. The peace dove, the lightning, the hand, the clouds, the eyes, staring from behind. Gori, how bad? Hope you're safe at home. Thank you for the love. I love that card. Card is amazing. I'm not upset about it. <laughs> there we go. Yes. Love. Love is true. 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 Let's see what the peace offering is supposed to mean. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer to the microphone. Hopefully it isolates. I'm sure it will. Core meanings. Oh, man, I'm getting cold out so hard. I, don't, I mean, I'm getting not cold out. I'm more getting reaffirmed. I feel that's, that's the better word. Depicted on this card are vortices of peace doves spiraling over a black ground of dark storm clouds. The hearts are created by golden spirals and form the core of intention held by hands seeking peace. As we live world events in these times, it's disheartening to hear of war, conflict and aggression. Many feel powerless, incapable of action and defenseless in the face of outrage. How can we be empowered? Both quantum physics and metaphysical thought affirm that by our intentions, we create our own reality. No matter how dark it may seem, humankind is evolving. This card symbolizes prayers offered with the conscious intentions of peaceful hearts everywhere to shift from darkness and fear to love and compassion. It advises you to not lose hope, but rather to live peace in whatever you are able. In, yeah, in whatever you are able. By your own actions and intentions, you will accelerate the process of creating true peace. Both your prayers and your efforts in the community to actively live peace and support those who are like-minded will aid in shifting the balance. In so doing, recognize that you are assisting the evolution of consciousness towards a world in which peace is truth and not solely a dream. And I did pull it reversed, technically. So it goes, peace is hard to come by in your life. Perhaps learning more about nonviolent communication and the way of the peaceful warrior may help you create a secure space from which to live peace. Getting cold out, yo. Nonviolent communication. Do I communicate violently? We have we have mentioned aggressive positivity, right? That I guess that is violent communication. Ah. <laughs> Thank you, universe. Actually, getting cold out. Reaffirmed. Getting reaffirmed. Mm -hmm. uh, the air dragon drawn reversed. That sounds pretty sick, dude. Share what it means, please. Wonderful people, all the love. Can you see the lake from your house, Corey? If I go across the street, I can see the Lake Erie and the Niagara River. Shinaski. It's mean looking. That sounds crazy. This card may indicate that you are in danger of becoming the servant of an idea. To avoid the constant reality checks are essential. Air Dragon reversed. What a trip, dude. I feel that's very fitting to what I'm going through right now. The idea I'm having is uber efficiency. I don't want to be a slave to uber efficiency. Is that a word? Is that what you were saying? Servant. Servant. Servant of the idea of uber efficiency. You know, I need to reality check. Reality check. Check your reality. <laughs> I'm doing it on purpose. I'm forcing myself to cringe. You know, your, your brain unironically tries to avoid things that makes it cringe. Uh, this card is a big time. Peace, truth, love and light. Making the dream a reality actively, right? In, in this community, we are shifting the balance towards love and unity. Your friends make me so proud. The power went out at work, so we had to blow back the formalin. Formaldehyde mixed with water. Otherwise, the lines will freeze up and it takes hours to clear a blockage. No thanks. 
mostly white Janansky. I can't even see the park across the road. Goodness. I saw something about waves being up to 24 feet high. Damn, nature, you scary. You know what the craziest part is, dear Sam? Dear Maxine, dear Shan, dear Corey, brother Ryan, maybe. I'm sending love to Gavit, Goo, and Kyle, too. Oh, goodness. So many friends to send love to. I can't, I can't. Oh, goodness. All of your friends hold such high regard in my mind, echoing back to the whole point of the fact that your friends are showing up for this experience. You are that nature, and you're you're aware of these environments right like it's so easy for you to die <laughs> oh goodness right if you're not vigilant with taking care of yourself and keep your environment hot you can actually die yet your friends are living like living is not for the faint of heart your friends inspire me try you you went through school oh you got through that just you know. <laughs> inspirational <gasps> stay safe Corey. please do yeah, the surfers are probably loving it. I love you. I love you, friends, so much. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you again soon. Goodbye, everyone.